there's not going to be a President Donald Trump. <laughs> um, that's not going to happen. Uh, and it's not going to happen because we're not going to be used. Fear is not going to be something that we're going to, uh, that's going to be uh, th what drives our country. We're not going to be scared of Muslims or, or, or immigrants or you know, women. The worst thing about George Clooney isn't the unremitting bullshit that streams out of his mouth. It's the way he always acts as if he's got the moral high ground. You don't have the moral high ground. You're supporting one of the most corrupt politicians in generations. You're supporting a woman who took a hundred million dollars from Gulf state dictators. Countries responsible for some of the worst human rights abuses on the planet. You're supporting a woman who's in bed with Saudi Arabia, a country that bankrolled ISIS Al-Qaeda and was involved in 9-11. Trump is actually a, a, a result in many ways of the fact that much of the news programs didn't follow up and ask tough questions. That's the truth. Really? So if Trump wasn't asked hard questions, why do studies show that he got the most negative coverage out of any Republican candidate? You know, the ratings go up because they can show up empty podium saying Donald Trump is about to speak. Mm. You know, as opposed to taking those 30 seconds and saying, well, let's talk about refugees, which is the biggest crisis that's going on in the world right now. Okay, George, let's talk about the refugees because it makes complete sense that you would throw your support behind Saudi Arabia's preferred candidate. You see, Clooney and the Saudis have a lot in common when it comes to refugees. They both whine and bitch about refugees all day long while taking in precisely zero refugees. Saudi Arabia has 100,000 air-conditioned tents with bathroom and kitchen facilities that can house 3 million people sitting empty for most of the year. How many Syrian refugees have the Saudis taken in? None. George Clooney visits Angela Merkel to lecture Europe about how they're not doing enough for Muslim migrants, despite accepting millions of them over the past year. How many Syrian refugees has George Clooney taken in? None. Zero. Nada. Zilch. The guy's got five frigging mansions, three of which are in Europe. He's just bought another one in Britain for £10 million. Clooney and his wife have got room for a new swimming pool, a home cinema, a library, a steam room, a spa, a gym, a wine cellar, and eight empty bedrooms. But no room for any refugees. So Clooney, when are you going to do your bit for the refugees you care so deeply about? Or is this just one long, tiresome exercise in virtue signalling? Hmm, I wonder. How dare you lecture Germans about accepting more refugees from the comfort of your $100 million Lake Como Villa. While people in villages like Sumte, with a population of little over 100, are inundated by 750 unassimilated Muslim migrants. We've lost the ability to, to get to and tell the truth and get to the facts. Seriously. This is a guy who throws $350,000 a plate fundraisers for Hillary, and then has the nerve to get on TV the next day to complain about getting big money out of politics. This is a guy who lectures Hollywood about diversity, yet whose new movie doesn't feature one single black actor. He's a total hypocrite, and I'm sick of seeing his smug, self-satisfied face spewing out meaningless platitudes while the media makes out like he's Jesus fucking Christ. Clooney once angrily lectured a journalist who called one of his movies boring. You make a lot of films yourself, yeah? I'd like to see you make a film before you get to talk about it. What a jerk, said Clooney. Well, I'd like to see you listen to the parents of women and children raped by Muslim migrants in Europe before you get to talk about it. I'd like to see you house a single Syrian refugee in one of your numerous palatial mansions before implying that we're all racist for expressing concern about the millions of Muslim migrants pouring into Europe. George Clooney is a total prick. Fuck George Clooney.